All right, welcome to a File Center video series on new features. Uh, we are very excited to bring uh, this message to you. Today is August the 2nd of 2017, and I am here to talk with you about a new feature that we are releasing here uh, in a very short period of time. Uh, we are calling this new feature Painted Folders, and basically for uh, for quite a while i would say that this is probably our number one requested feature and that is to be able to change the color of a drawer or a folder inside a file center and as i said we we have implemented this and we are now getting ready to release it now uh, if you are receiving this email right now uh, with this video, uh, you are on a, a selected list that we have chosen to uh, basically give a, a release of this particular new feature out to. What I am going to do is I'm basically going to bring this to you to p start playing around with, uh, and this video is going to show you how to go get the latest version of File Center and then how to enable the new feature. Now, there's a couple of pieces of information that I need to share with you first uh, prior to getting into how to get your version of it. So um, basically, full disclosure, uh, the first and foremost is that painted folders will only be available uh, in File Center Pro and Pro Plus. Uh, we will not have it in our home edition. So if you are on the home edition, make sure to reach out to uh, either myself or um, one of our sales team members and we can get y'all set up on Pro and Pro Plus. Um, and then number two uh, is because of the coding, uh, basically the painted folders will only work using an NTFS hard drive or a Windows-based hard drive. It will not work on a NAS device at this particular time. Uh, sorry about that. It's just part of the coding that we received uh, from the company that kind of designed this feature uh, that we're going to implement in. Uh, and if that ever does change, obviously we're going to update you on that. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and get down to business uh, and show you how to get the latest version and how it works. Uh, I'm, I'm really going to just take you right through the whole process of getting it uh, from downloading it to activating the feature and then getting it set up. So with that, let's go ahead. I'm going to jump right over into my Google Chrome here uh, to go out and get the latest version. Uh, this is technically posted for everybody already. Uh, we're not announcing everything of you know what the feature, uh, the version is going to actually have, uh, but we want to already have it out there. We just want you guys to get out there and play with it first, and then uh, if there's anything that's wrong there, you can come back to us if there's any issues that are coming up with that feature. So if you just head out to lucian.com slash downloads.html, uh, you'll see that web address up here up at the top. Uh, then you just come over to the File Center 10. Uh, this is you know, basically every version of our software from home all the way up to Pro Plus. It's just your license key that enables the different features. So we'll just go ahead and click on download. Um, this shouldn't take too long, but what we're able to do here from this point is go ahead and we're going to download this, we'll run it, and then at that point uh, we'll be able to get everything squared away. So then we'll hop right over into um, setting it all up. All right, so it's now downloaded uh, to the computer. To get things going here, we'll just go ahead and you can go right to your downloads folder. Uh, if you're using Chrome, it'll just be down here on the bar down below. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And you'll see here it just pops up and just wants to know if you'll allow this app to make changes to your device. So we'll just go ahead and say yes. And then here we are uh, with the welcome to the file center setup. So it, it, obviously from this point, it's pretty rudimentary. We're just going to go in and click on next. We'll accept the agreement. Your product key should stay in there uh, from before. Uh, if you don't have the PDF printer installed, you can go ahead and install it. I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it again. So I'll just leave that box checked unchecked and then just click next and then we'll install. And from this point, it'll go right through the whole process of installing the software. All right, so I've basically spared you the majority of the installation process here. We didn't need to make you have to sit through that whole uh, process here. Uh, we're just wrapping up here on the installation. And then we'll go ahead and just dive right into the actual program itself. All right, so now you'll get the little message telling you here. Uh, 
got it on my other screen here, uh, that uh, if you have file convert, just make sure that it's also updated as well. Uh, but then at that point, we're all finished. We'll go ahead and finish that out. And just like that, we're all done. So now let's go ahead and just we'll open up our file center software. My little splash, splash screen is over on the other monitor, so I apologize about that. But we'll go ahead and looks like file center opened up over there as well. So we'll just drag that over. <clears throat> okay, so now to turn on painted folders, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the settings icon. And then you'll come over to manage files. And down here below, uh, you'll have a little box that says to enable folder and drawer painting. So you'll just make sure that that box is checked. So go ahead and do that. It's all set. And now, uh, as soon as you come in and you're right clicking on a drawer, um, you're going to be able to come right in here. Uh, you'll see it's the second option. It says to paint the folder. So at this point, you can come in and choose a different color that you want. So you can come in. Let's just say I want this nice Seahawks green. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and click on OK. And the way that we are going to pre be presenting this is that you'll have a little green tab up along the top. Um, instead of having the big, the whole folder be uh, set up that way, it's just going to have just a little sliver of, uh, for the color on a drawer. Same idea here is you're going to come in, right click on the drawer, come down to paint drawer, and you'll be able to come in and put in the drawer color that you want. And again, it just has the little red uh, on the drawer. Uh, it doesn't color the whole drawer. Uh, we found that uh, there was a lot of performance issues there. So we just wanted to make sure that uh, it's something that can catch your eye. Uh, and uh, But this will be a nice little feature that is going to be coming in. And you'll be able to apply that pretty quickly. Uh, a lot of uses for this. Uh, so we have a lot of people that will probably use uh, like the red color for people that are no longer active clients or something like that. Um, and... Uh, you know, maybe a green for an active client. Uh, but uh, even in our accounting practices and stuff like that, we, we find that uh, we'll probably have a lot of those that are using folders for their tax folders, one for bookkeeping, etc. And you'll have different colors so that you'll be able to catch your eye really quickly of which folder that you're going to enter into. All right, so that wraps up our video on this sneak peek of the new feature that's coming out for painted folders. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our sales team. You can either send it by email at the sales at lucian.com or you can contact them by phone at 801-722-7098. We'll go ahead and wrap up now and we'll catch you on the next sneak peek feature video.